know what they think this is, who they think they is, who they think they playing with, but not me. Welcome back to my channel. So this is just a story time on what happened in Miami, the worst trip ever with this surgery center. So we're gonna get right into it because my food just got here. I'm hungry. I just got out of the shower. I got this food. But y'all know your girl on a fast. So this is nothing but potatoes, corn, and eggs. But I was craving it. I really wanted some crab legs, but this is the closest thing I'm gonna get to it because I can't eat no meat. Extra sauce, medium. I should have got hot. I was really finna eat and watch How to Get Away with Murder. That's my show. But I'm like, let me go ahead and do this story time because I leave back out to go to Miami in three days and I have a lot to do over the weekend. And I feel like I was gonna tell y'all and like do a video about it because I was blogging like my whole experience down there and everything. And it was crazy. I was just so irritated down there that, and then when I got back, I was mad. I did not wanna talk about it. So here we are. Okay, so my original surgery date was November 12th. I scheduled my surgery back in March, March of 2020. I scheduled my appointment, paid for it, did everything early in the year. So at this time, I'm just waiting for November to get here. COVID happened. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get my surgery. Atlanta never really shut down for real, but long story short, every day never changed. So I was still on and good for November 12th. My surgery with Dr. Williams at 305 Plastic Surgery. He like specialized in shape and all of that stuff, which is really why I chose him because I wanted somebody who specialized in shape. The coordinators like that you talk to and get in contact with. It was so hard getting in contact with them. They text you from like their little Google app number. You DM him, he don't be DMing back. You call up there, they tell us, oh, we'll call you back. I never like really had to call up there for anything until it was like towards my surgery day or whatever. So yeah, that should have just been my red flag right there. Cause the, the center itself, no, mm -mm. I don't like it. I love his results. So I'm like, you know, whatever. I didn't pay for it. It is what it is. So first y'all know my arm cast came to like right here and I had it on for about two months. So of course I had the cast on when I went to Miami. But when I went to get cleared by my primary care doctor, so today I'm just getting my physical, my medical clearance, and my labs, and all of that stuff, so I can send it off to them because my surgery day is coming up. It's in two weeks, and yeah. It came a little faster than I expected, but. I'm in a car now. I finished taking my labs and my blood work and my tests or whatever that I needed to take. So the doctor said that I'm in good shape. Everything's all good for me to have my surgery. Today. He cleared me. He said that everything's good. I went to my orthopedic doctor and I even told him, I was like, I'm getting a BBL. You don't think that anything will be wrong or I'll have any complications. Basically, can I get it with this arm cast on? He was like, yeah, there's no reason that you can't get the BBL with the arm cast on. I'm like, okay, cool. He even wrote it on my clearance paper. He wrote that I had a right arm fracture. I had an arm cast on. All of this was on my medical clearance paper. I even text the coordinating letter, the coordinating, the coordinating lady. What? I even text her, the one who that I have been talking to. So I text her and I'm like, hey, I got an arm cast on. Is everything gonna be good? You know, everything's straight. I can still get my surgery. She was like, yeah, you should, it should be fine, but I'm not sure. So I'll ask and get back with you. Mind you, she never got back with me. I asked her again, no text back. They sent my medical clearance papers over and I got cleared. Like the 305 plastic surgery, they cleared me. I was like, well, I must be good. I Googled it. Like, <laughs> I Googled it and they said, you can get surgery with a cast on. And I be feeling like Google right about everything. But hey, I just had to stop the camera to mess this corn up, child. I love the corn. The corn and the egg gotta be my favorite part. I wish I had some crab legs right now cause this would be going even crazier. But it's cool. I only got one week left in this fast. And when I tell y'all when I get off, it's 
Uh, comment down below what's your favorite part of a seafood boy what's your favorite part besides the meat you know and so basically like the lady she never got back with me and after that cleared me for surgery they say everything was good they say your labs came back okay everything's good i'm looking at it as y'all are looking over my entire medical clearance like to see to make sure that i'm clear because it says clear as day on the paper that i have a cast on my arm so you know i'm thinking i'm good i'm cool i'm okay whatever my original surgery date was november the 12th and i think we flew down there on november the 10th it was me my mom and my two aunts flew down there with me i'm here at the airport and we're ready to go to miami y'all i'm getting a little nervous i was getting a bump of guts last night <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I'm ready to get there. I think I've been seeing like that it's like a tropical storm or something that was going on in Miami yesterday. And it was flooding and they were outside like dress skiing and stuff. Hope that the weather goes down. I've been checking the weather. It's raining. It's not going to be raining when we land, but it's supposed to be raining later on today. I hope it don't rain and I hope it don't be storming because I don't got time for no storms, baby. I don't even do natural disasters. But yeah, so I'm ready to get there, and this is such a big day for me. So I guess I'm just gonna see y'all what time it is. Six and a half hours later. So, hey y'all, if it looks like I just woke up, it's because I did. Your girl had to take a nap because I was tired. Just gonna show y'all the room. some pasta you getting a salad yeah i don't really don't even need no pasta i should be getting a salad too you think i should get a salad yeah okay i really like that honey chip pounded chicken and um, strips though so how about i get those in the salad i think so yeah we were staying at a hotel room literally everything was set we get there or whatever you know like we chilling we all flying in on the 10th on the next day which is the 11th pre-op so i'll go to pre-op i'm already sitting here for two hours child first of all when i first get here it's like so many girls in here they just like coming in and now like back and forth coming to pre-op coming to post-op like it's just a lot going on in there at the time that should have been a flag right there because it was not organized at all i wait for about a good 20 minutes and then they take me back for pre-op or whatever child I take the COVID test. I'm at pre-op for like two hours by now. Filling out a fat packet of paperwork, sitting in this hall. It already take me forever to see Dr. Williams. So I go in there. He just looking at his computer. He's not really paying attention. He keeping it real short. It's like, okay, take off your clothes. You know, like, let me see. The whole experience was just not personable at all. So he look at my arm and he's like, oh no, I'm not doing the surgery. You have a cast on. I'm like what do you mean what is the medical risk of me having an arm cast on gotta do with you i'm not understanding i'm just like you know like what is the risk he's like oh i've never did a um, procedure with on someone that has a cast on so i don't want to do it because i don't want to be responsible and blah 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 i was already scheduled to get my arm cast taken off i had to reschedule my appointment because i went to miami and my orthopedic just said he would take it off when I get back from Miami. Like, my appointment was literally a couple days after I got back home. No, like, I was like, okay, so I'm going to take this arm cast off. That's just it. 
because I know that my arm is healed. They put me back in the hallway. He don't even want to talk to me no more at this point. He keeps sending his assistants out here. All of them coordinators in there, they barely speak English. You barely understand them. At this point, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I need to get this, you know, situated because I didn't pay all of this money to come down here and, you know, get this surgery. They're like, okay, well, you need to get new x-rays so we can make sure that it's okay. I get back to the hotel room. I'm literally cut unwrap it in the first layer i can unwrap it then i get a knife i'm like sawing it i'm sawing it i'm like doing everything to get this cast off my arm we even asked in the front desk hotel people for some wire cutters like they even brought me some wire cutters up there that's just how serious this was yeah i can't believe i'm doing this right now but I'm taking this cast off because they got me fucked up. So, I'm just gonna keep on having it. Y'all not are gonna believe this, but first of all, I got clearance from both of my doctors that I can get the surgery with the cast on. They wrote all my medical clearance that was faxed over to my doctor that I had a right arm fracture due to an accident they cleared me for surgery i even checked with my consultant so here i am i'm going into my pre-op i'm here to take the covid test doing all my paperwork a thick ass packet of paperwork just for me to get in there and have to say i never operated on nobody with an arm cast before so we're gonna have to reschedule reschedule no i'm like i'm scheduled to get this off next week so I'm like, no, I'm finna, I'm, I'm not, I'm not rescheduling. First of all, that's a lot for me to be even be coming back down here doing all this over and over. Nope. No, we're not doing that. So I took this cast off and I'm finna go get me an x-ray on my wrist and it's going to be cleared and I'm getting this surgery tomorrow. I don't know what they think this is, who they think they is, who they think they playing with, but not me. No. So I took the cast off and I just wrapped it in an ace bandage and it don't even hurt. So that's where I'm finna go now. I'm finna go to the urgent care to get me an x-ray done so I can take it back to them and uh, let me go because I gotta hurry up before it gets too late in the day. It's 11. I'm so stressed out y'all. It don't make no sense. Like if it's not one thing, it's another. So, but whatever. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna be good. So I'm gonna see y'all later. I get the arm cast off. Boom. I had to go to like the Miami Urgent Urgent Clinic or whatever and just be like, some my wrist hurting or whatever. Like I need some X-rays. I had to pay for them to do a whole new medical clearance on me and X-rays for me to get the surgery. Now I gotta come out of my pocket three hundred more dollars to get new X-rays on my wrist that I know is fine and another clearance. so embarrassed <laughs> the lady like so who took your cast off i'm like me she just bust out and started laughing <laughs> but i'm like this is serious this is a serious matter ma'am yes i took my own cast off i was i got that cast off i was not playing just hope these sex rays come out good but they are they're gonna come out great and i'm gonna be clear baby and we're gonna be good to go and hopefully they get this done quick so I can make it back up to the doctor's office to get them this clearance and finish my pre-op stuff because they stressing me out. But I'm going to check back in with y'all. <laughs> I cannot believe this. This is just ghetto. It's real ghetto. And you know that I'm good. Like, they're why I can't get the surgery. I even went the extra step and got my x-rays faxed over to my orthopedic doctor. I told him, you know, like, look at my new x-rays and, you know, see if they good or whatever. And basically, like, write me a letter saying that I can get the surgery. So, he did that. He sent the letter 
faxed it over to 305 Plastic Surgery. Once I leave there, I'm going back up to 305 Plastic Surgery to see if I can finish my pre-op. I'm up here for another three hours, like just going back and forth like with all of these girls. They just don't have nothing to say. Like they don't have anything to say. You can't get an answer out of nobody. You can't talk to nobody. I can't even get in here to talk to Dr. Williams. On the phone with my orthopedic doctor, like, you know, like, you can talk to Dr. Williams. I couldn't even get in a room with Dr. Williams. Dr. Williams was in this room, and let me tell you, he ain't come out for about a good two hours, y'all. Like, I tell you, like, they brought me back. I sat in the hallway. I literally took, like, three naps sitting in the chair because I was sitting there for so long. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And my mama and my auntie was like on the other side in the waiting room. And they even kept telling them like, if you're not a patient, then you can't be in here. But no, nah, they, they're gonna be in here because at this point, y'all got me messed up. Still sitting in here waiting on him, you know, like waiting on Dr. Williams, blah, blah, blah. At this point, like I took the cast off. I got new x-rays. I got clearance from two doctors. What more is it that you want? Cause at this point, my orthopedic doctor, he's like, why won't he do your surgery? There's no reason that he shouldn't do your surgery. You can put on a splint. I had just took my cast off and my arm was weak, but it was not broken anymore. Like you can just put on like a little cotton splint or anything, shouldn't be a problem. On the clearance paper, my orthopedic doctor wrote, my arm is fine, I'm clear to get the surgery. I can put on a splint or something, you know, if it is needed. Just don't put no IV in my arm because it just got, a, got out of a cast. So if you're gonna put an IV in my arm, you need to put it in my left arm. He only wrote that on a paper that he didn't tell me to take my cast off my arm because duh, he didn't tell me to take the cast off my arm. You told me to take the cast off my arm. You said that you wasn't gonna do it with the cast. I told you that I was gonna take it off and you told me, okay, go get some x-rays. So at this point, I'm really frustrated. I'm really upset. I'm really irritated. But at the same time, I'm still trying to be positive. I'm still like, you know, okay, well, he gonna, he gonna do it. He gonna do it because I got my clearance from my doctor. There's no reason that he shouldn't do it. So after me sitting in the hallway for another three hours, I go back in the room with him or whatever. He read in the paper. He didn't want to talk on the phone with my orthopedic doctor. He just wanted to read the paper. So he's reading the paper he literally skipped over everything on that paper. The last sentence when my doctor said that he didn't recommend to remove the cast, but he skipped everything else where it was saying that I can get the surgery, it's fine, just don't put an ID in my arm. He skipped over all of that. He skipped over all of that. And the only thing that he paid attention to was I didn't recommend the cast removal. Duh, because who recommended the cast removal? You did. He's like, no, I'm still not going to do it until you were originally set to take your cast off, which was like five days later. The only reason that it had got rescheduled is because I had to come here. At this point, you don't give a fuck about me. You don't give a fuck about my time, my money, nothing. And then you're being so inconsiderate, so blunt, so nonchalant about the situation. At this point, I don't even want you to do my surgery no more at all because... I'm very irritated. You really have me fucked up. I just had like a completely bad experience. They sat me in another room and his little patient consult lady came in there. I keep telling him, I'm like, why won't he do the surgery? Like, what's the medical risk? What's the medical risk? He couldn't tell me the medical risk. They couldn't tell me the medical risk. None of them can tell me what the medical risk was for him doing my surgery. Like they didn't have no real medical reason why he could not do my surgery. So at this point, I keep going back and forth with these girls like head to toe. Why he won't do it? What's the medical risk? Y'all can't tell me. He don't want to talk to my orthopedic doctor. Last time she came in there, brought the refund lady in there. She was just like, no, it's no surgery. And mind you, he's booked up until 2022. You're telling me to come back next week, but you're booked up. You're overbooked. And you don't care about me. You want me to come back next week? Let's like, live down the street, nigga. I live in Atlanta. I live 10 hours away. What sense do that make? Please make it add up. You think I'm finna get another plane ticket, another rental, another hotel room, wherever I'm gonna stay. Like, you want me to do all of this over again? Well, you can do it now. No. With me knowing that he's booked up for this long, I just told them, but, okay, well, he said he'll do it next week, then whatever. I'm lying to them. I'm just keeping, I'm just trying to keep my name in the system, basically. So I can reschedule. I don't even know what the fuck. I was just mad, irritated, and just ready to go off at this point. 
I was just over it. Like I was just ready to go. Like I just couldn't deal with it no more. So I went back to the hotel room and I went to sleep. And then I woke up and I really slept on it. I was just like, you know what? I don't want to do my surgery no more. You know, like I don't care how good he is. I can find somebody that's just as good. And there's a lot of good surgeons in Miami. It was just the thing of trying to find somebody just to do it while I was there. And it was like still like dealing with COVID at the time. Still is dealing with COVID. So I knew that pretty much wasn't going to happen. I had woke up from my nap. I was still mad because like you you really got me messed up dude like you really got me messed up and you just don't care like i would have felt more better about it if i actually got the sense that they care or they care for doing putting me in the inconvenience you know but they didn't they didn't at all like they really did not and that's what really had made me mad and just seeing him just being so nonchalant about everything and i'm taking it as Y'all not even looking over nobody medical clearance for real. If y'all was going over my stuff the way y'all was supposed to be, then y'all would know before I even get here that I have an arm cast on my arm. And then the fact that I just took it off, got a new x-ray and a clearance, no. Literally wanted me to come all the way back to Atlanta, see my doctor, and then come back. Like, that junk was crazy. I'm not finna go home and get another cast. When I go home and see my doctor, I'm just gonna start physical therapy. Like, because my wrist is good. Like, it's okay. So, that's really what had me so mad. Cause you just don't care. He feel, probably feel like, like he ain't losing out on nothing. And honestly and truly, I just felt like he didn't want to do it because they were so overbooked. And he probably had hella people to do that day because it was packed as hell in there. And, oh, it's just one surgery I ain't got to do. So, woke up, got um to search him for me a new doctor. Did a couple consultations with a couple doctors that I liked. The next day, I actually went to another surgery center and they were so nice. Like, they were considerate, personable. They could speak English. I liked the doctor. I liked his work. Some of the stuff about his work I didn't like, but uh, for the overall most part, I did like his work. So, we did a consultation or whatever with the new people. She was just so nice. Like, and I had told her what had just happened. She was just like, oh my gosh, like, what the world? Like, why would they do that? Like, what does your arm even have to do with what the procedure that you're getting? Like, I can see if I was getting an arm lipo or something, but I'm not getting an arm lipo. Like, my arm arm is little as hell like really confused it was like yeah your arm has nothing to even do with what you're getting like that was not a good reason to not do your surgery it's like they would have did it you know like and then i got clearance come on now i had got a new a surgery date with them the only thing that they had was december 23rd and i took that date to get on the schedule and they were going to let me know if they had any cancellations before I really did not want to do anything like that close to Christmas because I didn't want to be in Miami for Christmas. Other thing is when I was at the other clinic, they was like, like, you don't even have a lot of weight on you to take off. Like, so I don't think that you're going to like your results if you get it right now because you don't have a lot of weight on you. Sometimes a lot of people get to that off their like, stomach, thigh, not like probably like their inner thighs or their like, arms or whatever. But that's not the case with me. I'm only getting it taken off my stomach because I don't have anything on my arms or anything for them to take. And I knew that I was already getting a skinny BBL. My doctor specializes in skinny BBLs. So that's why I had really liked him. But she said I wasn't going to like my results. I wasn't going to have the hips that I wanted. I honestly just need to gain some weight for a little bit. So they didn't even tell me that at 305. They just don't be giving a fuck. They don't be paying attention. They're not personable. They're not none of that. So, again, y'all, everything happens for a reason. I was able to come home and try to gain some weight. I ain't gained no weight, especially being on this fast, but I've been trying. Like, I've been drinking protein shakes. I've been eating a lot of potatoes. Like, everything that's, like, fattening. But... I just have not been able to gain weight. Like, I don't know what it is. I had a surgery day locked in with them. I had to pay another $500 deposit. I'm gonna go home, regroup myself, and have them give me my refund, and I'm just gonna come back. So, I came home or whatever. I didn't want to do it in December, like right before Christmas. So, they gave me a date for January the 6th. So, I'm like, you know what, okay. So, everything happened for a reason. You gotta understand that. And it's a reason that God did not want me to get my surgery that day or at that clinic or I don't know what it was, 
but God just did not want me to get my surgery that day. So I just took that as that and everything happens in God's timing. And I just took it as it was something that God was avoiding for me, you know, cause anything could have happened. And I'm just thankful for the overall situation because I'm coming out in a better place in a better situation with them with my date being on January the 6th I'm like you know what okay that's good get my nose surgery done in no at the end of November be all healed because y'all know my nose was broken from the accident and I still had to have surgery on my nose God working it on out for me me to get everything out the way that got to do with this accident before I even start on something else they were taking a really long time to get me scheduled now here it is the first week of December they still don't have me scheduled for my nose surgery so at this point they're irritating me because I'm like I gotta get ready to go back to Miami there's no way I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna be able to go back to Miami and I didn't even schedule me for my nose surgery yet they call me you can't do your nose surgery to like the last week of December or the first week of January that pissed me off right there but I wasn't mad because 305 still have not given me my refund blowing up their emails calling them every day like telling them it's my refund like I need my refund run me all of my money back at this point it's been been two months all of november all of december y'all still don't have no refund i don't even have a confirmation for a refund i don't even have no email that y'all processing my refund y'all still are holding on to my money and i have to pay this other sender that was another problem so at this point I was just dead over it like dead over the whole situation or i'm just gonna go and scoot through my bank because y'all are holding on to my money and y'all didn't even want to do my surgery i'm like going off on them in emails so the manager of the refund department or whatever called me. She was like, well, what is it that we can do? Was like, we can get you in next week. We can do it whenever. You can come in any day in December you want. You know, like, we can do it. You know what? I'll get back with you on that because at this point, I'm still trying to figure out when I'm going to get my nose surgery done. I put them on hold. I hadn't talked to them for about two weeks. I finally had got a date for my nose surgery. First week of January, I got my nose surgery done. So I have finally got a date for that. So I'm like, okay, cool. I don't already have to do this long process just to get my nose surgery scheduled. I might as well go ahead and get it out the way because I'm not going to wait to get my nose surgery. If I get my BBL, I'm not going to be able to get my nose surgery until probably like the end of April. And that just would have been extremely too far because I was, I had pain in my face and stuff like for my nose being broke. It was crazy. I was like, you know what? God be making everything happen for a reason. He do what's best for me at the end of the day. So I called them back once I knew when I was getting my nose surgery so I can schedule my appointment with them. They gave me a date for January the 27th. It's cool. I'll be healed from my nose surgery. I'll be about three, four weeks out and I'll be good to get that surgery. Also made sure that it was cool with my nose doctor and my primary care doctor that it was cool for me to get the surgery a certain amount of weeks after I got my nose surgery. They was like, yeah, it's cool. I was in a nose cast for like two weeks. They took the nose cast off. All of my stitches came out now, so it's not healed all the way because my nose is still numb right here. And it's been about three or four weeks. It's still numb a little bit, but overall, it don't hurt no more. But actually really good. I can breathe now through my nose clearly. I'm happy about that. Everything is pretty much all good. My camera probably overheating or going to die, so I'm going to wrap this up. I've been talking to y'all for a little minute. So I was supposed to have surgery this Wednesday. He texted me and was like, can you do it on Tuesday? Once again, these motherfuckers are probably overbooked. It's crazy up there. But the reason that I'm still going to Dr. Williams because I love his results. He do exactly what I want for a fact because his results be like hitting on everybody. But the other doctor the results just wasn't hitting on everybody. They was hitting like here and there, but they wasn't hitting on everybody. Whatever. Y'all want to do my surgery? I guess come on. Like we just finna go ahead and do it and get it over with. Yeah, so I mean, my coordinator texted me today and she asked me, can I do pre-op and surgery on Tuesday? I don't know. She said she's going to let me know the times on Monday. I told her I ain't have a problem with it as long as when I arrive Tuesday morning, I'll have time to go to the store to get like my food, Gatorade, my water, whatever I'm going to need. She said, yeah, I can go and do all of that, then come up there. So I guess we're just going to see what happened when I get to Miami on Tuesday. It's, what, Friday? So I'll be leaving in about three, four days. So, yeah.
Hey, um, battery just died on my camera, so I'm gonna finish this up real quick on my phone. We will talk more about my whole BBL and you know what's going on probably tomorrow in my next video. I'm gonna vlog my whole journey, so I hope y'all subscribe to my channel and come along with me because, baby, like I just know it's gonna look good. I'll be back in Miami, back at 305, back with Dr. Williams, <sighs> back with him in three days. And now my surgery day was 27, now it's the 26. Y'all see they always doing something. As far as the other clinic, I'll follow up with them later because they're gonna refund the bull, so they're not gonna give me my refund back. So we just got 500 of my dollars that whatever. I could still went to them this month, but I honestly just didn't feel like their results was gonna hit on me like Dr. Williams' results was gonna hit on me. Cause y'all know he snatched that waist tight, baby. And another thing is I cannot stay at a hotel room this time. Like I was way more comfortable. I'm gonna be at a hotel room, but it's not gonna be with my mama and my two aunties because they can't get off work so they can't come with me but my friend is coming with me my sister my closest she coming with me so i'm gonna be good i'm gonna be okay everything gonna be all right yeah but i'm gonna tell y'all more about that and you know my journey my experience in the next videos so and make sure you like and comment on this video because i know it was probably a long crazy story but it was crazy in miami would i recommend 305 plastic surgery no i would not recommend that center overall because of their customer service their lack of communication they lacking everything 305 plastic surgery like they're so unorganized women are coming in here to get this surgery a major surgery going under anesthesia like y'all should be more personable than y'all are i don't really don't understand that i'm just going here and getting it over with with them now because i know how they is literally in miami it's like a surgery center on every corner so i understand that y'all used to this and girls are just coming in and out but everybody is not used to this even the girls that was coming in for post op just coming in like bleeding waiting hella long for somebody to come out there and get them so now i know what they be doing up there i'm gonna be prepared for them y'all ain't even gotta worry about me just do my surgery and that's it be out of here okay but yeah i had a really bad experience with 305 plastic surgery so them as a center overall no i would not recommend them because their customer service is just way off and if you're like me that like personable experiences and good customer service then you're not gonna like them either boo he got on my last nerves i feel like he's too arrogant and cocky for me but look sir look we're not gonna do that i love his results i don't love him i love his results hopefully i really get a better experience when i go up there on tuesday but i'm not even gonna be looking for a better experience when i go up there on tuesday because i know how they is they're just crazy mm -mm. i don't really like it but i love his results so if i'm paying all this money and i want what i want and that's just that i don't want to settle for nobody else you know some real good doctors in miami i think i'm just stuck on his results because they look so good like they look natural and a lot of people don't like a natural look but i do i do not want to look like i got a shelf booty like no hips and a shelf booty a lot of doctors in miami do that a booty be looking like this at the top um you just be sitting on your back i'm going to vlog everything my whole experience so if y'all want to see what it's like in my experience when i go back make sure you subscribe to my channel share with your friends with your home girls anybody who y'all know who getting a bbl soon um my next bbl video is most likely going to be me preparing because i know that y'all want to see that now y'all gonna have questions on like what i got what i'm taking all of that other type of stuff so i'm gonna do a packing and preparing video but i thank you guys so much for tuning in with my crazy story and i'll be back in three days to see y'all in the next video <music>